Operation Urgent Fury Operation was the secret name for a U.S. invasion plan in the Caribbean country of Grenada that lasted for only four days. And before you flood the comments with how the U.S. don't mind their business, which of course we know it is true, it was for a good cause. It all started in 1979, when Maurice Bishop became prime minister after a coup, just five years after their independence. And Bishop was, well, not the best of men. He was working with the communists, especially with the Soviet Union and Cuba, and supported left-wing ideologies. In such, a new airport being built in Grenada was thought to be a place where weapons were sent to Latin American rebels. While the U.S. was still considering Bishop's communist relationship and his threat, he was killed in a coup on October 19, 1983, by a more extreme group of the Military Revolutionary Council, a worse devil than Bishop. This put the country of Grenada in turmoil, and a civil war was almost in sight. This was seen as a sign for the U.S. government to act. And no, it's not because of oil or WMD, weapons of mass distraction, that the U.S. invaded Grenada. It was because of its citizens. At the time, hundreds of U.S. citizens went to medical school on the island, and President Ronald Reagan was worried about their safety. Then, after getting a formal request from the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, President Reagan decided to act with three mission goals. One, protect and rescue the medical students. Two, to bring democracy back to the small country. And three, to get rid of the growing number of Cubans on the island, which was a fight against communism. And with such goals, Operation Urgent Fury was born, and the attack was scheduled to happen on October 25th. Vice ADM, Joseph Metcalf III led the operation. The plan for the invasion was for U.S. Marines to attack the northern half of the island, while the U.S. Air Force flew U.S. Army troops onto the southern part of the island near St. George S., the capital. The Army was able to set free 138 medical students who were being held at a school nearby. By the beginning of November, all of the military goals had been met, and a temporary government was set until a democratic government could be chosen. Nearly 700 medical students and 755 Cubans were flown out of the country by the U.S. Air Force. Operation Urgent Fury was a success. The invasion was the first big fight for the U.S. forces since the Vietnam War, and most Americans were in support of it. U.S. President Ronald Reagan called it a success. The United States had saved its citizens, overthrown a communist dictatorship, and restored democracy all in one week. That is all we have for you today. Click the subscribe button and the like button if you found this video informative. Also, hit the little bell so you get notified when we post new informative videos like this, just for you. Thank you for watching. Till next time.